Okay, live. Hi everyone. Hi. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So we are live now on a Tuesday at four o'clock. Um, so thanks very much for joining us. Um, we've got quite a few nice offers today, actually. So um, I'm going to be showing you um, a class that um, I've been teaching all year and has been really, really popular. It's part of our Dirty Weekend classes. Um, where I travel around the country doing them but we have got a special offer whereby you can actually buy the videos and um, so all of the class it's a two-day class so there are like 10 videos and there's over 300 minutes worth of demonstrations and it's our um, dirty weekend journal and I'll show you close up in a minute but Sorry, we've just got a little dog who wants to say hello here. Um, this is Daisy. Come on then. Come on then. <laughs> no. <laughs> as soon as I say hello, just mind your own look. As soon as I say hello, there's another nose up here trying to get in. <laughs> okay, let's let's just sort these dogs out and um, get them to behave. I'm going to go and lie down now. Good boy. Come on then. Come on then. Go lie down. Come on. Come on. Go to bed. 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 Okay. Sorry about that. Um. Yeah. You just want me to say hello. All right. Enough dogs. <coughs> rude. Just rude. Yeah. Okay. So here we go with our exclusive Facebook YouTube offer. 20% off our journal video um, for 2021-22. Um, I'm going to show no, you those in a minute. It's just called video journal, DW journal 21 is, it? is what it's called. Okay, yeah. there you go. Um, and then I'm going to be doing some tags um, with the uh, Tando that we've got in stock, which is lovely. I love using it. Um, and we've actually used it on the journal as well. So the code you need to write down is Tuesday 20, which is this one here, Tuesday 20. And you use that at checkout um, in the um, little box. It's not Tuesday put in. though, it's Tuesday 20. Tuesday. T U E S 20. Tuesday 20 won't work, so don't use Tuesday 20. <laughs> use use the one that is, is up there, like just there. Tuesday 20, that's the one you want. <laughs> I tell you what, you do that in future. <laughs> okay. You do that notice. It's all right, you've done it now. Okay, great. Well, that's enough of that. I'm going to go over to um, uh, the other camera and um, start showing you. You can have the dogs, darling. Yeah, thank you. Oh, kiddo. So, um, first of all, I just wanted to show you. This is what I'm going to be doing um, later on. But I just wanted to show you the journals that we did on the Dirty Weekends. So the Dirty Weekends are when we travel around the country um, visiting various different places and we have a two day course. And it's called a Dirty Weekend because we obviously end up getting paint all over ourselves um, or over our hands anyway. Um, and um, just having a fabulous time. So. We've travelled around doing this. We've got one more left in Exeter, which I'm really looking forward to at, in a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, yeah, two mm. weeks, um, which is going to be fantastic. And that's the last of the year. But what we thought we'd do is we, um, they, the people who attend obviously have the course, but they also have access to the videos as well. So we're going to do a special offer for you. So if you want to buy the videos, um, obviously um, you can watch all of the project from start to finish in the 10 videos and the 319 minutes of demos. Um, it's two days worth and the special offer is 20% off. 20% off. So is it 20% off that price there? Yeah. Wow. So um, we did a special offer of £75, but today you get 20% off that. And that's just for the videos, okay? This is not an in-person one. This is just videos that you can download and keep on your um, computer, okay? So um, permanently. So we were using all these lovely um, 
Tando products. So this lovely DL um, Magic Spine journal which is just gorgeous and we are using the textures one we also actually use we've only got a couple of these left on on our website which is uh, diamond and moroccan we use those on here as well and if i just quickly flick through some of the lovely techniques that we did loads of different watercolor techniques layering techniques um, using uh, luscious, using patterned papers, using all kinds of fantastic stuff. Um, so it's a really lovely course and it's been really, really popular and we've enjoyed doing it immensely. It's just been fantastic um, and I've loved every minute of it. So um, that's our journal for 2021 in fact are we actually we're not actually doing this one are we no we're not doing this one for exeter I do beg your pardon this was last year's i'm getting confused now no um exeter is a different project okay so just to recap you get 20 percent off the list price of the videos just the videos which you can download and keep permanently and that's 20 percent off the 75 pounds that's 10 videos 319 minutes of demos and loads of lovely good stuff so to today's project so um i i sort of know where i'm gonna go with this but you know me it will change so i've um got the grey board tags now these are the 160 mil by 80 mil size and these are a nice thick grey board so I'm using those um, I'm also using the textures one from Tando these are on the website and um, these are actually what we use on the um, journal so the videos don't include any kit whatsoever so the videos for this kit um, you need to obviously buy um, the journal and all of the lovely little bits that you go on to here. Or so use, just, or use, what, what, or use what you've got in your stash, obviously. <laughs> okay. So we're using that also. I'm going to be using some of our gesso, some of our luscious, and maybe some of our vid vids as well, vivids. Um, so if I just give Alfie um, my... Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think what I'm going to start with is just getting some um, gesso onto these. Now, I know I don't normally wear gloves, but um, for this one, doing this gesso is so much easier. Thanks, Alfie. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Anne. I had a, a lovely day yesterday with my friend Anne, and we had the day off, and it was so nice. She went to her house. She made me lunch. Um, it was just lovely went to the cash and carry and just generally had a nice nice afternoon so thanks Sam for that it was did me a world of good actually so that's lovely David's joined us oh is that our David from mm -hmm. oh David went to India with us and it was just fantastic um hello my darling how are you lots of love to you that's the thing about going on holiday to people you get to know them really well um, and he, he was, I knew he was a good guy, a nice guy before we went, but he's just so nice. Okay, so I'm just using a kitchen sponge here. Oh, Joe Marsh is here as well. Joe was in India with us. Hi, Joe, darling. Hope you've recovered from the uh, trip back. So I'm using a kitchen sponge here with the gesso because it's just so much easier um, to um, to use it like this so david's getting over my bug i like to share david <laughs> yes. he does like to share yeah yeah those aeroplanes are full of bugs aren't they yeah so see how much easier it is just to whiz over and also you only need a small amount because our gesso just um is lovely so i've just used um that kitchen sponge and I'm just going to pop those out I might actually give it a blast with the heat gun just to make sure it's dry Hi, 
Hi, Wendy Love. So um, Wendy's joined us as well. And Jeanette, she's watching on YouTube. Thanks very much. There we go. So just ease these out, which is lovely. So these middle ones will come out as well. You can obviously keep them to add extra interest. I'm going to leave those there as well. So I'm going to use those. Um, the imagination will come out in a sec. And let's get all of these out as well. Let's have this one. I just love these. I think they're just fantastic to use. And I like these little diamonds as well. I'm just going to put these up here, out of the way, just for the moment. Now, the imagination, I do actually want to colour that before I use it, first of all. So let me see if I can get it out in one piece. So I've put the textures one in the chat. There is 20% off that with that code as well. <coughs> Hopefully you should have heard that, I think. You just need to speak up a bit, Alfie. Mm. Right, so this is the imagination. I should maybe have um, tried it a little bit more before I try and take it out. Um, but you know me, impatient as always. But I really want this word. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, oh, I could spray it with Vivids, actually. That would be nice. Um, but I'd sort of plan to just use um, some luscious on it. There we go. It's coming. Okie doke. So let's just take that piece out. I was going to do this before we started, but um, I didn't have a spare one to show you. So let me just move that out of the way. There we go. So, yeah, I like that. So let's do that with some of our luscious. So I have actually got silver here. Let me just bring this in. So the way I do this is, let me bring my paint mat in as well. So the best way to use your luscious, if you haven't used it before, it's a powder and it's a pigment powder and then we've added mica to it so it's nice and shiny. Um, and then we've actually put a binder in as well. So what I'm doing is I'm using a wet brush and I'm dipping it into the powder and then I'm just working it in on my paint mat. Now the great thing about this is that um, it's water-based and you can reconstitute it once it's dry. So that's why we've got a palette and this palette is uh, on the website and it's the Tim Holtz palette. Mm, excuse me. And so you can put it in a palette and keep it there. And all you have to do to reignite it is just, just wet it. So I want to just paint all of this in silver. So this is uh, just called silver. And I think that would just have a bit more water on that. There we go. And it goes over the black really nicely as well. Really shines, shines out really good. There we go. Okay, doke. So let's put that to one side to to dry for a moment. And then let's have a play with these shapes and everything. Now what I've also got is I've got in the corner here all my scraps that were on top of uh, in the corner of my desk. So these were 
pieces of kitchen roll that I actually was spraying some tags and this was all the bits around the edges that caught all the colour. So I've actually kept them and I thought those would, might look quite nice on a tag. So we'll see anyway. So let's get some shapes on here because I really, really love all these gorgeous shapes which are just beautiful. Um, maybe I should have asked Alfie to pop these out for me. Mm -hmm. I think let's have this big one here. Can you pop the rest of those out for me please Danny? Mm -hmm. So we're going to have the imagination down the side here. I think we'll have this here, quite like that, and I think I might go with the squares on there. Do you want the numbers? Yeah, please, I think that would be good. So imagination's going to go down there. Let's see what it looks like over the top. Yeah, I can do it over the top as well. So we can have these here. Um, have the numbers please, Alfie. Let's, Let's have some of these squares here. That's one. That's two. that up a bit so you can see it better. There we go. And we've got D. That's three. Okay, let's start sticking these down. So I'm going to use um, Take these off. So let's start sticking these down. So I've got just a, a tad of grub and go because this will um, grab quite quite firmly, quite nicely. There we go. Let's have a little bit of this on here. These two are not going to fit there, so I think we'll have them here. That's good. Let's have these squares here. So what do I do with my tags? I actually um, like to put pockets in, in my journal and have them either um, popping out of the pockets or just sat on a page on their own. I'm not worried about the glue spewing out because um, it will dry clear. There we go. It is a two. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. So let's have this here. That's the number two, or it will be in a second. with there we go that's better 
That'll do. Let's do a B. That's a bit easier to put on. Let's go there. Okay. So just making sure that I've got plenty of, of texture on this. And I've done everything in black gesso because um, it just looks so much better with that. And um, Teresa says, do the tags come in different sizes? They do. They do come in different sizes, the tags, Teresa. So we have um, three different sizes, don't we, Alfie? Yeah, we've got 120 by 60, 134 by 67 and 160 by 80. And those are millimetres. I'll put the link in the chat. There we go. <coughs> Hi, Jenny. Hi, Suzanne. So um, I'm just using these um, little bits that came out of the diamonds and just layering those on top. I think we'll have another over there. And then I've got these, these smaller ones here. I think I might put those on as well. Why not? Let's just go for it, shall we? I like diamonds. Cool. basically covering everything. Um, let's put that E on as well. Let's have that up here. Okay. Yep, that'll do for now. That'll do. Okay. What about all my numbers? It took me ages to get those out. <laughs> I've used the numbers. I have, honestly. <laughs> Do you want me to use this little three? Yeah. It's just really fiddly. I'll need to use um, some tweezers. I can't pick those up. They're just far too small. Okay, so I have to use them because I'll feel sulk. Won't you, darling? Mm hmm There we go. The number three is on. The little number three. There we go. That'll do. Not sure that's the right way around, but that's that's what's <laughs> that's what's going on this anyway. Okay. Yes. So that that'll do. That that's all right. Now the question is: Do I spray it with Vivids or do I use the Luscious on here? I think I might go with both actually. Let me just spray some of this right in the background. So really sort of getting the backgrounds there. So this is um, Whiskers on Kittens and this is part of the Vivis range and it's the sparkly one. And I'm going to use my brush just to make sure that that gets really into the background there. So dead, dead close, almost touching. There we go. And again, what you need to do is just dip the nozzle in water and give it a wipe before you put the lid on and then it's not going to clog up. Right, so I'm going to blast that.
Okay. Um, and then I'm going to use the blue satin sashes, which is again another vivid that's got micro in it, so it's nice and shiny. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to like this, but if it goes wrong, I can just put more black gesso on. So let's just go really close in with this. And get some blue on there. Again, just dip the nozzle in water, give that a wipe with your cloth, lid on, and then save for next time. So let's just see how this looks with some glue on. Right, so now I want to use some out of the blue. This is a really dark blue um, and I've already mixed some here. It was already in my palette. So I just need to revitalize it by putting some water, some water on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you just need to get it really going. It's sort of a creamy consistency is quite good and I want to just get in some of these background areas that haven't been touched yet so just really touch up the back because that will just send the background to the back visually there we go and then if I can get if I actually just mix a little bit more with a wet brush whoops into the water and let's see if I can get a few drips going down here Trouble is, everything's in the way, isn't it? It's not going to go over the top of those. Okay, so that's the background. I quite like a bit of the copper showing through. That's That seems to have worked okay. Then I'm going to come in with some Poseidon Blue. Now, have I got Poseidon Blue on here? Probably not. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I, would, I just a sneeze came on me. Um, okay, this is the side and blue here. So again, just a wet brush into the powder, and then just gently mix that up. And then again, wet brush swirl it around the powder the powder sticks to the brush and then you just mix it into your palette there we go so i'm just going to just touch up various areas i think this might actually be a slightly wrong brush i think i might need a, a flutter brush just to catch the limits. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. So this is, we're touching the toppermost levels now with a bit of this Poseidon Blue. So let me use um, a different brush for this. So Gretel. So Gretel is um, a new pink. Okay, don't know where Gretel is, so <laughs> I've lost my Gretel. So let me just mix this on here. So again, is that Gretel? That you're using? Gretel, yes. It's a blue pink, so it's a cool pink. 
So that's going to go really well with the blue because it's um, a complementary colour. So Anne's asked, can you spray Vivids over dry texture paste? Yes, absolutely. You can spray Vivids over dry texture paste. Looks gorgeous. Okay, so we've got some of the Gretel. And I think I might use um, a flat brush for this. Just to add a touch of colour here and there. So I'm holding it vertically and I'm sort of holding it towards the end so that I can actually just give it a, a wibble. That's, that's the technical word, a bit of a wibble. And I'm just putting a touch of this blue pink on and when it mixes with the blue it will become like more of a violet color so and the lovely copper of that um, whispers um, whiskers on kittens that's a really nice contrast to it so let me just mix a little bit more of the Gretel and you need it to be the consistency of cream so quite quite thick you don't want it runny like a normal paint um, you want it a little bit thicker so they get the density of colour um, and Gretel has um, an added magic sparkle to it as well which is really nice when you see it dry so that's looking good doesn't show up too well on my monitor but I like that I like that a lot that's that's working for me that's good and I might just see whether I can get a dribble down the side here whether I can get it to run go on go on run 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 little piggy run and a little bit more here phone's gone off could you just switch it back on Danny please and I know that I haven't fallen asleep <laughs> there we go got a couple of runs going on there that's good yeah liking that okay so I've also got obviously my imagination to go down here which I love. Thank you. Oh, Jill's here, Jill Cowan. Thank you. All she can think of is Blackadder. Wibble. <laughs> With the wibble. <laughs> wibble. Yeah, I think he says it a bit better than I do. <laughs> I love Blackadder. I'm going to have to watch that again. It's just so good. It's just a classic. David said, is that the friendship bracelet that you're wearing? Um, th this was the um, this was the prayer um, that we got when we went to the rug village. It's still not come off. Um, and these are the bracelets that um, I bought on the last night at the artisan place, which I love. Gorgeous. 
Um, so I've just put some glue down on the paper just so that I can pick up, pick it up onto the imagination word and then that can go over the top of here. Let's make sure that it goes on there. Let me just turn that round so I can position that properly. Oh, I've got glue on my fingers, that's not good. There we go. Just want a bit on that G there. Yeah, like that. That's good. Okay. Jen Marsh reminds me of stained glass window. Thanks, honey. Yeah. It's got those colours, hasn't it? It really has. Okay, so I've also got some bits of sari. Now I picked these colours out, but now that I've done it, I don't think they suit. So um, let's colour this white one with, let's see if we've got any of this left. Let's get this going. Oh, best thing to do, I think, is to wet it. And get some more mixed in. Ross says, where do I find 20% off journal video 21? You just need to put into the voucher code box at checkout TUES20 and that will give you the 20% off. Do you mean where you actually find the video itself? The video is under events? No, it's not. It's under videos. Oh, is it? I beg your pardon. It's under videos. I'll, um, I'll put it in the chat. Yeah, he'll give you the link. And then I'm just going to dry that off. Chasing it. There we go. Okay, so I've just coloured that with the uh, Luscious. The Luscious isn't a, a fabric paint, not like all our other paints, um, but it's it's okay just to colour it. Um, we're not going to be washing it. Um, does that that still goes, doesn't it? Yeah, that'll do. Um, and then what about this? Mm, maybe not. Maybe we'll just stick with those. Okay, so I'm just going to pop these through here. And then I'm just going to get some um, wire. I love this one. We've all, we've always got this on the website. Um, it's just really nice and bendy. Have we? <laughs> Alfie says, "Have we? Have we run out?" Always got it. <laughs> I just love it. So I'm just going to. Um, Start off with it upright and then go round and round and round and round and round. <laughs> Love that you can use all the paints and lushes to colour. Sorry, ribbon. All seen by. Yeah, you can. You're right, Wendy. Um, yeah, all the paints are um, a true fabric paint but yeah you can use the luscious to color your sari ribbon 
we have got some white coming on online soon so I'll let you know when that's on I think that's a nice sort of finish to it I'll turn that over and I was I've got all of this to play with didn't use any of it did I so have we got time to do a quick one not really we've done 40 gosh we've done 45 minutes already Save that for next week. I'll save that for next week. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, I'm just going to touch that up a little bit where um, my fingers got in the way. Just clean my brush. Let's get a little bit of that silver there and let's just touch this up a little bit. There we go. Lorna's joined. Hi, Lorna, love. Nice to see you. Lana did a great video the other day. I've got to do a catch up and, and watch it, but I heard it was fantastic where you talked about our trip to India. Um, so thank you for doing that. Um, can't wait to watch that. I think that needs a little tiny bit more glue on the end there. I'm going to use my brush just to a little bit of glue on there, on there. Lorna says, can't wait to go again. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> We've already got quite a few bookings for next year. Um, we'll be confirming the dates very, very shortly, won't we, Alfie? Mm -hmm. There we go. Okie doke. So there's your tag. Um, that's what I used. I used the uh, Tando Creative Textures one, which um, is on special offer, isn't it, Alfie? 20% off. 20% off. T-U-E-S 20. T-U-E-S 20. Choose 20. Um, in your checkout box where it says, you know, voucher code or whatever. You just put it in there and it automatically comes off your total. And also um, the video for doing the Dirty Weekend 2021, which was actually last year. I was getting myself confused, um, which is just a gorgeous class to do. Um, so and there's lots of lovely different techniques in there um, using our paints and all kinds of lovely stuff. So yeah, treat yourself to um, to a class. Um, that'd be brilliant. And thank you so much, everybody. Any hello, Wendy says. Hello, Susan. Yeah, the video was great, Lorna. She's superb. And yes, a lot of people looking to 2024 already. Thank you very much for watching. Um, really enjoyed doing that. That was really nice. Um, thank you very much and um, check out the website and uh, don't forget your voucher code which is here and we will see you next week. Oh no, one thing, you'll see me on Friday on Crate and Craft at 7am, 11am and then on Craft Extra at 1pm. So I'll see you then and I'll be launching some um, new stuff then. Okay, see you then. Bye.